What's going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about specifically what businesses are the best opportunities for you to be getting in now that will not only benefit you but will benefit your generations to come. Let's get into it. <clears throat> Number one thing you need to understand about starting a business is there's easier businesses to, show, to start that I can show you and they are huge at generating cash. But before we really dive into what businesses are going to be the best, you need to understand something. If your business doesn't produce a lot of cash flow, if it doesn't build equity, and there's no proprietary value in your business, then you need to really consider the long-term effects or the long-term, I guess, investment that you're gonna be putting into this business. Let me explain. Number one, the easiest business you could ever start is a sales business. You can start a sales company, a, you know, a, a company where you get people on the phones, you know, dialing and just cold calling or you could get you could start a business where you literally just go out and knock on doors and try to sell stuff you could start a business understanding the power of sales and how to close deals right from the ground floor you don't even have to have a lot of money to start this business if, if any at all the benefit of knowing how to do this if you have the skill set of sales and you can show that to other people then you can go find someone else's product and you don't have to worry about customer service, you don't have to worry about onboarding, you don't have to worry about payroll, you don't have to worry about uh, marketing. All you have to worry about is you and your team closing deals. Now, that is the easiest business to start. And if you and I've said this over and over again, if you know me, sales is the most powerful skill set in the world for this reason. Because if you yourself know how to sell, then you can sell anyone else's product out there and you don't have to have money to start up that business. And it's going to elite, it's going to produce the ability for you to make at least six figures for the rest of your life if you really master the skill set. Now, the fastest way to make six figures is to learn sales. The fastest way to make seven figures is to teach a team how to learn sales. If you can build a team that is a bunch of badass closers and manage that team, well, now you've got a seven-figure business right off the bat where you're producing a lot of money for your company. Okay, that's number one, a sales business, okay? Number two is a marketing business, right? You could start a marketing business where you're actually just putting out content for other people or you're actually just promoting other people's stuff. Again, this is a very simple business to start where you're literally just putting out, uh, you know, other people's information, trying to generate them leads or generate eyeballs to their business, and you're getting paid for that. You don't have to worry about, again, customer service. You don't have to worry about onboarding for the actual products. You don't have to worry about finding a good product. You just have to be good at getting eyeballs on someone else's product. These are the, some of the easiest and also most powerful things you could do just starting out a business. Let me give you a perfect example. If you were to go into real estate and you had the power of sales, well, you could not only be a realtor closing some extremely high ticket items, making a lot of money, but then you could build a team and show them how to do the same thing. And that I know a lot of people who do this who have made well over six figures and even seven figures just doing that. That's in real estate. And that's a huge area to be in. There's also mortgages, but there's my personal favorite, which is life insurance, which I personally think is the best opportunity you'll ever get into for the, at least for the next 10 years, the best business opportunity of the next decade. Now, I'm talking to you about all these businesses, but when I, I want to come back to what I just said at the beginning. You need to evaluate how much cash does this business make me? Because there are businesses out there that don't produce a lot of cash. They are an expensive business that really doesn't produce cash. They just provide a service or a platform, and it's really a money pit. But that business is still alive and is actually still a business because there's a lot of equity in it. So let me explain the difference. If you have a business that cash flows, it means you're producing sales. It means there's money coming in and out of your business and that you're actually receiving paychecks. In that kind of business, you have to make sure you are making money every single month if it's going to be sustainable long term. So number one, cash flow. What's your cash flow like in your business? Number two, what's the equity? A lot of these people, and I, I sell courses, courses are amazing. They're an incredible way for you to build wealth, to gain a lot of cash flow, and also to spread a great message to help people understand and learn quickly. I am who I am today because of courses and mentorship. However, 
the biggest problem with courses, the biggest problem that all these uh, influencers run into is there is no equity in a course. There's nothing in it that is sellable. Meaning if you build up a business and you're selling a lot of courses, you can't sell that business to somebody else because that business is dead the second you're no longer teaching it. There's no equity in it. If you build up a business, however, that's a tech company, or if you build up a business that's a uh, clothing brand, or you build up something that has an equity position, meaning there's actually something in it that someone else values, now you actually are building your net worth because the bigger your business gets, the bigger your own personal net worth gets because it's an asset that you own that you can then sell. You can then sell it to somebody else and cash out really, really big. And this is number, another reason why I love life insurance so much because it's the easiest entry to do that and you build equity every single time you make a sale. So that's number, number one is cash flow. Number two is equity. Number three is proprietary value, meaning what is unique about your business that other people don't have? Is there something about your business that makes you stand out that other people have to come to you in order to get what you provide? This is crucial because I, I met with a gentleman who actually is in, is in the restaurant business. He does a lot of restaurants. He, he produces a ton of franchises. And he got involved with a franchise very early on and took him huge and is making a lot of money. But he provided something that not only made him a lot more cash and built a lot more equity in the business, but it, it provided something like called proprietary value that made him invaluable to the business that will make him money in so many more ways because he's the only one who can do it. And he produced a certain kind of folding box that they had. They now had to go through him in order to use this box that made their cookies or their actual service look legit. That was incredible. It looked amazing and it was very unique. And so he owned the box. And so people came, they came to him to use his boxes only, which provided a ton of cash flow for him. And now he's the only one they can do, go to for that. You have to take these three things into account when you're starting out, starting your business. Cause you can go sell courses, you can go sell pest control, you can go, you know, mow people's lawns, you can do a lot of things. And that can produce some cash. But are you building equity? Is this a business that you can then exit in the future? And are you are you providing proprietary value, something unique that makes you stand out, that makes everyone need to funnel to you for what you provide as opposed to they could get it anywhere else?